Hey guys, Jambo Comics back again today with a haul video for you. Some great Golden Age action to show you today. Great Golden Age books I've just picked up recently and wanted to share with you some stuff I've been looking for for the collection and just some stuff I happened to look into that I thought was really cool. So let me show you what I've got. Now some of this I've shown on Graphic Man's channel on Wednesday night. Uh, he has a show on there called The Four Color Fossils. And it's just some great old comics on there. And some great guys showing them. Do yourselves a favor. Check it out if you haven't already. It's a fantastic show. Here's Bugs Bunny. Number 31 from Dell Comics. It's from 1953. I just love that cover, man. Uh, some great kind of sci-fi action there with Porky and Bugs. Uh, Looks like Bugs cooking up the breakfast on the back there. Out of the rocket uh, flames coming out the back there. Very cool. Love the artwork. This was in really nice shape. So I was happy to get that. Bugs Bunny, number 31. And got this at Comic Book World. And I was glad to find that because I paid three bucks for it. That's right. Three dollars. Three dollars for a great Golden Age comic from Ace Comics. This had some Phantom stuff inside of it. And uh, yeah, it was number 129 of Ace Comics. And I think it was from 1947. This is some great fun there for three bucks. Ace Comics, 1947. Glad I get that. Also got this at Comic Book World. Also, this is Feature Comics, and it is number 116 with a fantastic Doll Man cover. And uh, I think Bryant was the artist on the cover there of that one, and it's had a whole bunch of just different characters inside of it. You can see everybody there. Some fantastic stuff. The Doll Man was always pretty cool and fun to read. A couple of the other ones was pretty fun also. Always enjoyed them. And it's from 1947. But the cool thing about this one was, and I think I paid like eight or nine bucks for this. So when I got it, it was kind of, I guess you'd call it a pedigree from the IRS collection, which means that the IRS come in and probably seized, seized some poor collector's collection because they had been buying books instead of buying or paying their taxes. And it's pretty sad, really, when you think about it. I know I would be very upset if they came in and took all my wonderful books. But nonetheless, I'm glad to have that. Sorry to whoever that was that lost their collection. But uh, glad to add that to mine. And next up was uh, a nice tip top. Number 86. With a Lil Abner cover from 1943. You guys know I love Lil Abner. And uh, yeah, it's just a funny cover. It's a great looking cover. Love the artwork on it. And uh, looks like he's using an old pappy for bait there. Got the crabs biting his toes and everything. But <laughs> a lot of fun. These had great stuff inside of them. Uh, tip Top, they had a bunch of other comics and strips inside also. So always great to find those and read them and this these comics were huge too uh, I mean when you compare them to like a regular size comic let's get you a regular size comic I mean there's a regular size book and you can see how much bigger that is than a regular size comic and just great stuff inside of them also so tip top number 86 got this because i like the good girl art on the cover of it there aggie mac and this is number eight yes number eight it's from superior comics and uh yeah just some great good girl art on the cover and uh like that that's what uh, caught my eye and that's her brother there bobo and i thought somebody had drew or colored in his eyeballs but, uh, yeah, it's the same on the inside. That's the, just the way he's done, and it's just kind of weird looking. But, <laughs> nonetheless, yeah, Aggie Mac from Superior Comics, number eight. 
This is from 1949 with a Hal uh, Rasmussen cover. So, nice work. Eyeballs aside, yeah, it's a pretty cool cover. And we got some of what we like. This is from 1949 Jungle Comics from Fiction House, number uh, 111. Some great Kanga action there, saving Anne from the panther there that's about to pounce on her. And uh, this was in uh, pretty nice shape. Got this at Comic Book World. I think I gave like $12 or $13 for it. And was glad to get it and add it to the collection. And uh, yeah, anytime you can find those for under $20, bucks, i am all over that. It's really cool. Nice action. Good stories inside. Love the fiction house. And speaking of which, I've been trying to shore up the jumbo collection and fill it out a little bit more. Here's number 111 with Sheena swinging into action. Just a great cover. And I am 90% sure this is a Matt Baker cover from the Iger Studios. But uh, yeah, some bondage down there. It's old man bondage. Nobody wants to see that, but there it is nonetheless. And 50, 52 pages of great jumbo action there. And this is from 1948. And just a beautiful cover. I loved all the colors on that one. And like I said, it was a great sheen of Matt Baker. Another girl, bonus girl in the background there. Just a very cool action cover there. Love that one. Number 111. I'm loving that. And here is another great Jumbo Comics. This is number 56 from Jumbo Comics. So it's getting back there a little bit. This is from 1943. And uh, yeah, this is an Art Soft cover. And I love Art Soft's work on Jumbo Comics. I think he does Sheena really great, fantastic. I mean, you can see there on the cover. Got her in action there, saving the damsel from the big warthog there. And the colors are just beautiful on this cover. And just love the blue background, the greens and the orange of our outfit, and the girl down there. Just fantastic. Art soft, man. Just hitting it out of the park. Uh, is one of my favorite artists on Jumbo. And I did notice that they didn't make the blood red on the knife there. It's kind of a brown color. I guess that was probably... They didn't want to be too graphic, but <laughs> fantastic cover. Jumbo, number 56 from 1943. Whittling away at the Jumbos. Add that to the collection, too. Got one more to show you guys. And it, too, is Jumbo Comics, number 37. And this one's a little rough, but it is from 1942, beginning of 1942. Um, yeah, you see March there. And, uh, yeah, it's just a fantastic Dan Zelnowich cover. There was Sheena swinging in, fighting the lion. And this one is a little dirty. It could use a little bit more of a clean. Uh, somebody had penciled in the Jumbo Comics up there at the top, and I erased all that. And got it cleaned up a little bit. But yeah, it needs a really good cleaning. But uh, just glad to have that. Number 37 from 1942. Just love the Sheena cover there. Fantastic stuff, man. Those old jumbos, you just can't beat on. It, like the tip top, as you can see, is... it's Yeah, it's a big book also. So, yeah, they're just that much wider than a regular standard comic. And, uh... I just love them, man. They had great stuff inside of them, and they're fun to read, and the beautiful artwork, just fantastic. So that's it, guys. Just kind of a short Golden Age haul for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment if you would. I'll get back with you guys. Always enjoy chatting with you, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
there's a lot of people that check out the channel that is not subscribed. Do me a favor, if you would, please hit that subscribe button. Because as you know, the beautiful Sheena says, subscribe. Thank you guys. Appreciate your time.